Welcome to another episode of Jeremy Munson Outdoors. Today is more of a, or this evening I should say, is more of a tutorial on how to clean fish, pan fish specifically, with an electric fillet knife. I've had people ask me, how do you clean your fish? So here's a good time to show you guys how I do it, okay, because some people are just stuck with the old uh, fillet knife with the doing it by hand. I've used an electric knife so much, I would never go back to the old way. My workstation, right over there. Stay tuned. All right. As you can see here, I have the Bubba cordless electric knife with the lithium ion lithium ion battery so i've seen people say that they don't like using these knives and i would say i'm in the same boat especially with cleaning panfish because they're just way too aggressive as you can see look at how sharp those teeth are and when you're de dealing with delicate skin on especially crappies so on these two you can't mess up too much but i love the tested and tried and true mr twister blades look at how those blades are a lot finer than the bubble ones and then you say, well, Jeremy, do they even fit in the knife? Yes, they do. You just take them like this and they slide right in. Perfect. Now we can get to work. As you can see, I have one crappie right here. It's a good eater size one. And then one bluegill. I'm gonna do one of each so that you guys can see the difference between a bluegill and a crappie. So, when I do the crappies, I slide the knife right under this fin, and then I come up and I kind of angle it this way, as you can see, because I don't want to waste any of that meat up here, because this is where the thickest part of the crappie is then I cut straight down and then I stop right at the midline that goes above this fin okay back in there start turning the blade it's easier if I can put this knob thing off of the edge of the table so I'm gonna have to slide this a little bit just so you guys can see that part. So, I cut sideways. You don't have to go fast. Okay, I, I go slow in the beginning. You just ease on right through. And you flip the slab of meat over. Perfect. Nice crappie flip. Do the other side. I always go right under the fin, just like this. Hold it up with my finger, angle it this way now because you want it to be, you don't want to miss any of this meat. Because if I'd go like this, then you're missing a good chunk of meat right there. So, I angle it this way, right behind the gill, basically, where the gill meets the body, is where you want to draw the line. Nice. Cut down there, to the belly, I angle. Just above the fin, just have nice blade control. You don't have to rush through it. Okay, once you get better at it, then you can fly right through them. Perfect, two nice crappie plays. Next is the Sunny as a bluegill. This is about a nine inch Sunny. 
and go right behind that ear tab. Okay, so basically the same thing as the crappie. Angle it back like this. If you can, I always like to put my thumb in their mouth. Cut right down behind the ear tab, maybe even get part of the ear tab. At an angle so you're not wasting any of this meat. Okay, start down, just like that. Make sure you get down to the midsection. Then I angle my blade. Like I said before, throttle control. You don't have to rush through it. There's a nice looking sunny. Flip it over. Do the same thing. Lift this fin up behind the ear tab, angle it. Cut down through the belly. You can even go all the way through it if you want on the belly part. Then I just follow that fin all the way to the back. Voila, we got two bluegill fillets. Now on to the more fun part, in my opinion, is cupping out the rib cage, trying to waste as little meat as possible. These are the two crappie fillets, and that is the sunny fillets. So first we'll do the crappie one. I like to hold it right here. You can even run your finger through here and kind of skin it yourself already. See how that comes off? I hold it there. I angle the blade just like this so I can just barely skim it underneath the rib cage. Okay, and you can feel it, especially with these blades. That's why I like these blades so much. Here's the rib cage. Just take that right out. And then I turn it this way. Here's the lateral or the part of the lateral line inside there. I start by the tail. And then I just run the blade flat. Cleans it right off the skin. Beautiful. That's a nice, nice looking fillet. And now some people might think, oh, you got some blood in it. Well, I put it in salt water and leave it sit <clears throat> in the fridge for at least a day. You can see right here how thin that is right to the right to the skin. So people that say that you waste so much meat with electric fillet knives, I would argue that you don't waste very much meat at all, especially if you do it correctly. Here we go again. We're right next to the rib cage. Cup it out. I missed the rib there a little bit. Take it again. There we go. Got that out. I turn it this way. Start at the tail again. Go down. Lay it flat. Put two fingers on there. You can even use a fork. I know some people that use a fork and stab it. Stab it in the tail area so it doesn't move on you. And here we go again. Another nice crappie fillet. And if I hold this up to the light, I don't know, you can see it's right down to the skin. Perfect, on to the bluegills. Okay, here's the bluegills. I see this little gap right in here and I try to get my thumb right on the skin again, best I can. Run the blade right along the rib cage, just like the crappies. See, there's still a little bit of meat there. It's right down to the ribs. You can see them. Right there's the whole rib cage. Then, take it sideways, hold the tail down, press the knife kind of into the skin. Perfect. There's a nice sunny fillet. And one more time. Fingers right here. Get to the rib cage. 
dirt behind it. Pop it out. Perfect. Throw that away. Start by the tail. And go right down it. There's your nice bluegill fillet. Nothing wasted off of the skin. And there you have it. We have four fillets in the bowl, ready to soak in some salt water, put in the fridge. And man, do they taste amazing. And there you have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little tutorial on how to use an electric fillet knife on a crappie and a bluegill. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. I'd be gladly, gladly answer any questions. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on Jeremy Munson Outdoors. See you later.